Imagine yourself in a world without any antibiotics. If you were really sick, you would no longer be able to just pop a pill and get cured completely. Instead, your doctor would prescribe you a bunch of viruses. Right, viruses. And this particular virus is called the bacteriophage and it can kill bacteria. Right now, our world is facing a crisis called the antibiotic resistance. Bacteria that we could previously kill using antibiotics are now developing a resistance to several antibiotics at a time. And we call these bacteria superbugs. This is mainly due to the overuse and misuse of antibiotics that we have seen in the past few decades. When people get an infection like gastritis or food poisoning, they can simply take a pill and they'll be cured. It's been really easy lately. However, due to that convenience, bacteria are growing resistant to antibiotics. We are paying the price. A price of incurable diseases. We do have a potential solution to the problem, so fear not. Our miracle cure is a virus called the bacteriophage, which resembles a spider. So I guess we're counting on spiders to save us from now on. Phages have several pairs of legs, with touch receptors at the end of each one. Above that, they have a long tubular body which is hollow, and on the very top, they have an icosahedral head. Yeah, a geometrical shape, oddly enough. And in this head is all the DNA of the phage. First, the phages attach to a bacterium using the receptors on the end of each leg. Using a syringe-like movement, the phage squeezes the DNA in its head through the body and into the bacterium. That DNA then hijacks the bacterium, which becomes a factory for producing phage parts. These parts then assemble, creating a ton of baby phages. These baby phages then puncture the cell wall of the bacterium, causing it to lyse or explode while the phages go to other bacteria and repeat the process. This cycle is called the lytic cycle. If you guessed that this word came from the word to lice, you're spot on. Since phages infect only certain bacteria species, to cure disease, doctors would have to mix a phage cocktail with many different species of phages in it. Just like any other technology, phages do have their disadvantages. Since the phage is a virus, a large dose could cause the patient to go into septic shock because of the immune system releasing endotoxins in response. Too complicated? Let me rephrase. If you ingest too many phages, there's a risk of going into septic shock. Furthermore, it's really, really hard to find the right species of phage for a bacterial infection because they're so specific. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Despite this, phages are still a thing of the near future. So don't be too surprised when you find that bacteriophages have become a part of your everyday life.